wire is stretched by a force, work is done on the wire, and strain energy or elastic potential energy is stored with. Consider the force extension graph of this wire until the proportionality limit or in the previous videos you can see that it is from O to point A. From the graph, the total work done W in stretching a wire from O to A and extension E is given by W is equals to the integral of F G E from point zero to point E is equals to the area under the graph as you have so here the shaded area is the area under the graph and you can see that this is the area of triangle so work done in this case is equals to energy or we call it as strain energy with symbol u so w is equals to strain energy u and then strain energy u is equal to area under the graph and the area under the graph is the area of the triangle so i can write u as equals to half e times f therefore strain energy u is equal to one over two f e so as we know u energy is in the unit of I know that u is equals to 1 over 2 fe and we have stress is equals to force over area if we rearrange this we can get f is equals to stress times area and we have strain is equals to extension over original length l naught we can rearrange to get E is equals to strain times L naught. If I substitute these two inside this formula, I will get U is equals to 1 over 2 strain times area, sorry, stress times area times strain times original length L naught. So we know that area times length is volume V so we can write U is equal to half stress strain to divide this equation if I divide this equation by volume I will get U over V is equal to half stress strain from here you can see that this is strain energy per volume which is equals to half stress strain so if I have graph of stress against strain half stress strain is area under stress strain graph so if you want to if you want to find strain energy per unit volume, you have to find area under the graph of stress against strain.